Here's a summary of the narrative of Moses leading the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt and receiving the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. In ancient Egypt, the Israelites lived in slavery under the harsh rule of Pharaoh. Their suffering was immense, and they cried out to God for deliverance. Yes? God heard their cries and chose Moses, a Hebrew raised in Pharaoh's palace, to lead them to freedom. Wow. As you watch, kindly support us by subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Monetary support for more productions will also be highly appreciated. Moses, after a divine encounter at the burning bush where God instructed him to free his people, returned to Egypt to confront Pharaoh. God performed a series of miraculous plagues to compel Pharaoh to release the Israelites. These plagues included turning the Nile River to blood, infestations of frogs, lice, and locusts, and culminating in the death of the firstborn of Egypt. Despite the devastation, Pharaoh's heart remained hardened until the final plague. In the midst of this crisis, God instructed the Israelites to mark their doorposts with lamb's blood, so that the angel of death would pass over their homes. This event became known as Passover. Pharaoh, grief-stricken by the loss of his own son, finally relented and allowed the Israelites to leave. Let's go. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, and they began their journey to the Promised Land. However, Pharaoh soon changed his mind and pursued them with his army. At the edge of the Red Sea, God performed another miracle. He parted the waters, allowing the Israelites to cross safely. When Pharaoh's army followed, the waters returned, drowning them and securing the Israelites' escape. In the wilderness, the Israelites faced challenges, but were guided by God. They arrived at Mount Sinai, where God called Moses to the summit. Wow! There, Moses spent 40 days and nights in the presence of God, receiving the Ten Commandments, which were inscribed on stone tablets. These commandments were fundamental laws that would guide the Israelites' moral and social conduct. The Ten Commandments established key principles, such as honoring God, refraining from idolatry, and upholding justice and respect for others. They became the cornerstone of the covenant between God and the Israelites, defining their relationship and responsibilities. With these divine laws in hand, Moses descended the mountain to find the people in disarray, having constructed a golden calf to worship. Angered by their infidelity, Moses destroyed the tablets and sought to restore order. After interceding with God on behalf of the people, Moses returned to the mountain to receive a new set of tablets. Yes. The Israelites continued their journey through the desert, guided by God's presence in a cloud by day and fire by night. They faced trials and tribulations, but were sustained by their faith and the laws given to them. The journey was arduous, but it was one of transformation, preparing them to enter the land promised by God. Thus, the story of Moses and the Exodus is not only a tale of liberation and divine intervention, but also a foundational narrative of faith, law, and identity for the Israelites. This narrative captures the essence of the story, as described in the biblical books of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy.